everybody welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing now I sort of based this on Valentine's Day but of course you can wear this anytime usually I don't do um, pink colors and usually I do really bold lips but I just thought this whole look would be really pretty if you was going on a date or really anything hope you guys like this look and if you did please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye Okay, so first I'm going to start off using the Wet n Wild Primer. And I didn't feel myself using it. But then I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. And I'm going to buff that in using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And now for concealers, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind. And I'm just going to pat that under the eye, sort of in a triangle shape. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. highlight and concealer uh, wand, is like double-ended. And I'm just going to be using the highlighting end to sort of lighten up the concealer that I had on before. Because it uh, matches my skin tone really good, but I just want to lighten it up for a highlighting effect. Now I'm just going to be using the, the Balm Sexy Mama Translucent Powder to set the concealer and highlighter. And now for contouring, I'm going to be using a shade out of the Chocolate Bar Palette. That's really a nice shadow, but the shade that I pointed at is just a really great contour color for anybody who's fair skinned or just like really light it's really hard to find a good contour shade for fair skin so I found that this one works really really well and I'm just going to basically put that on the contours of my cheeks and a little bit on the forehead it looks a little bit strong at first but when I go in and buff it out it'll you know it'll look a little better Next, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush. What a perfect blush to be using for Valentine's Day, right? But basically, I just swirled my brush in all three colors, put it on the cheeks. And now for my highlight, I went in back into the Chocolate Bar Palette and chose the shimmery shade on the bottom that I pointed at. And I'm going to lightly dust that on the tops of my cheekbones because the blush is already pretty shimmery. And then I just went in and kind of buffed everything in with a big uh, flat top brush from e.l.f. And then I'm going to go in with my eyebrows and I'm using the new Salon, Salon Perfect uh, Brow Pomade. And I'm going to brush my brows out with the spoolie. And then I'm going to show you uh, me doing one of my brows. And I just basically put it on the way I use my Anastasia Dip Brow. Kind of fast. I'm a little bit messy at it. But it works. I like how I do it. And now I'm going to brush my brows with the spoolie end of the brush to blend it all together. Now I'm going to go back into the chocolate bar palette. And I'm going to be using a fluffy brush. And I'm going to pick up the warm brown shade that I'll show you right there. And we're going to use this as our transition shade. And by the way, my eyelids are already primed. I just didn't film that part. But basically we're going to take this shade... And we're going to blend it up into the crease a little bit above and sort of make a V shaped on the outer edge of the eye. I'm going to go into my Inglot palette and use that red color. 
but really any red reddish pink color will work for this and I'm just going to take a shader brush and put that a little bit below the transition shade in the crease but in the same shape like using the outer V shape and just blend it back and forth And now I'm going to be taking a clean blending brush and just blend them together. And now I'm going to go in with a matte purple color and we're going to put that underneath the pink, pinkish red shade that we have on. And now I'm taking another blending brush and just blending that purple color in with the red color. Every time you add a layer of shadow and blend it, it just gives your eyeshadow just a really pretty gradient effect. And that's what we're going for here. Back to the chocolate bar palette and the two colors that I just pointed at, like a light pink color and a shimmery champagne color. I'm just going to pack that onto the eyelid. And now I'm just adding a little bit more of the red color in the crease. And blend baby blend. <laughs> And now using the same red color, I'm going to put that under the waterline. Now I'm going to be highlighting the brow bone and the inner, inner corners of my eye with the highlight shade in my Inglot palette. Just any highlight shade you want to use. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. And now I'm taking my Avon Liquid Liner, and I'm a little bit out of frame, but I'm just lining my eyelid, and I'm going to do just a slight wing, not very big at all. And now for the waterline, instead of using black, I decided to go with the brown color and it's a Pacifica brown eyeliner that I got in the Ipsy bag which is pretty nice I like it and next I'm using my mascara and this time I decided to use my Lorac Pro mascara because I really like how the brush is tapered at the end so that you can really get in the corners and get all the little smaller hairs And now I'm going to be using my Lena Lashes that I received in BoxyCharm. And this is actually going to be the first time that I apply false lashes on camera. So I thought it turned out pretty good. I use tweezers. That's the best way for me to do it. And probably the easiest. These lashes are like super, super long. But they were pretty. I liked them. just kind of set them and get them uh, attached to my lashes with mascara and now finally I'm going to go in with my Tarte Lip Surgeons in the color Precious it's just a really pretty light pink color with sort of like a gold iridescence to it and I never really wear colors like this but this color just looks so pretty on the lips and it looks really good with this eye look I was happy with it And 
that's it for this look and this is me trying to model for you I'm not really good at this but you get the gist of it if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, if you didn't I guess give me a thumbs down it's up to you <laughs> but I hope you guys had a good day and hope you have a great Valentine's Day see you in my next video bye